configure CDP, LLDP, and NTP. This topology. Cisco Discovery Protocol CDP is a Cisco proprietary protocol for network discovery on the data link layer. Link layer discovery protocol LLDP is a vendor neutral protocol using on the data link layer of the network discovery. Network time protocol NTP synchronizes the time of day among a set of distributed time servers and clients. On packet tracer, I will use 4321 router for R1. 2960 switches for S1 and S2. Okay, for S1 and S2. Okay, connect. Uh, gigabit 001 on router to Fast Ethernet 5 on S1. And between switches, Fast Ethernet 1 on both sides. Addressing table. R1 has a loopback interface, a gigabit interface, switch 1 and switch 2. Required resources on real app 1 router, 2 switches, 1 PC, console cables, Ethernet cables, build the network, cable the network, already done. Configure basic settings for the router. These configurations were made in another labs for security and for basic settings, and for me are optional. So I will only configure the device name and configure interfaces. Okay, go to addressing table R1. Command line interface, no. Enable configure terminal hostname R1 and configure the loopback interface interface loopback one IP address 172.16.1.1 prefix 24 and configure gigabit 001 interface gigabit 001 IP address 10.22.01.255.255.255.0 Enter. No, shut down. Enter. Configure basic settings for each switch. These configurations were made in another labs for security and for basic settings and for me are optional. So I will only configure the device name. Okay, on S1, configure the host name. Enter enable configure terminal host name S1. And on S2, Configure the hostname. Enable configure terminal hostname S2. Network discovery with CDP. On Cisco devices, CDP is enabled by default. You will use CDP to discover the ports that are currently connected. On R1, use the appropriate show CDP command to determine how many interfaces are CDP enabled. And of those, how many are up and how many are down. And go to R1 and um, go to privilege Excel mode with end command. And use the show CDP command. 
but determine how many interfaces are CDP enabled. Show CDP interface. Enter. Okay, VLAN 1 administratively down, gigabit 000 administratively down, gigabit 001 is up and protocol up. How many interfaces are participating in the CDP advertisement? Which interfaces are up? Okay, in my case, three interfaces are participating in CDP. Two interfaces are down and one interface is up. But the answer may vary. Number one, use the appropriate show CDP command to determine the iOS version used on S1. For example, on R1, show CDP entry S1. Okay. Show CDP. I will try only show CDP. Enter. Okay, this is the global information for CDP. Sending CDP packets every 60 seconds. And hold time 180 seconds. CDP version 2. Advertisement is enabled. Show CDP entry as one. Enter. Now you can see the S1 neighbor, the platform Cisco 2960 is uh, switched. My local interface on router, on router R1, is gigabit 001. The port on the another side, the port on the network, on the switch, is FASA 5. FASA 5 on S1 and my local port gigabit 001. Cisco iOS software, C2960 software, version 12.2. What iOS version is using? Okay. S1 device, S1, is using Cisco iOS software, C2960 software, version 12.2.25 FX. But the answer may vary according to the device. Okay, and also you can use the following command, show CDP neighbors, neighbors, enter. And you will see a uh, summary. This is a summary for the neighbors. And there is only one neighbor that is S1, is S1. My local interface on the router, gigabit 001, and the interface on the another side, FAS Ethernet 5. Capability is a switch, switch, and platform 2960 switch, 2960 switch. But also you can use show CDP neighbors detail, enter, 
and you will see a detail of the and you will see a detail of the night horse. In this case, I have only one night horse uh, is S1. On S1, use the appropriate show CDP command to determine how many packets have been output. On S1, show CDP traffic. Go to S1 and to go privilege exit mode show CDP traffic. Enter. Okay, Pocket Tracer does not support this command. But on real lab, you can see something like this. Total packets output, 179. Input, 148. CDP version 1 advertisements output, 0, input 0. CDP version 2 advertisement output 179, input 148. How many packets has CDP output since the last counter reset? In this example, CDP version 2 advertisements output 179. Configure the switch virtual interface for VLAN 1 on S1 and S2 using the IP addresses specified in the addressing table. Configure the default gateway on each switch. Go to addressing table. On S1, configure VLAN 1. Okay, this is S1. Configure terminal to go global configuration mode. And Interface VLAN 1 IP address 10.22.02.10.22.02 Subnet mask 24 No shutdown Exit IP default gateway 10.22.01 S2 Enter enable configure terminal interface VLAN 1 IP address 10.22.03 Subnet mask 24 No shutdown Exit IP Default Gateway 10.22.01 Enter On R1 issue the show CDP entry as one command Go to R1, show CDP entry S1, enter. What additional information is now available? Okay, the IP address of the switch 10.22.02, the IP address of S1, okay. Disable CDP globally on all devices. R1, and you need to go to global configuration mode, configure terminal, and disable CDP. No CDP run. Enter. The same way on S1, global configuration mode, no CDP run. S2. Now CDP run. I'm sorry, CDP. Enter. Network discovery with LLDP. On Cisco devices, LLDP may be enabled by default. You will use LLDP to discover the ports that are currently connected. Enter the appropriate LLDP command to enable LLDP on all devices in the topology. Okay, go to R1 on global configuration mode. 
enable LLDP globally LLDP run and the this one LLDP one LLDP space run on S2 LLDP space run on S1 use the appropriate LLDP command to give you a detailed information on S2. Okay, go to S1 on uh, end command to go privilege checksum mode and show LLDP entry S2. Okay, you can show only uh, S2, but also you can show all neighbors. For example, show LLDP neighbors. And and you can see a uh, summary of, of the networks. For example, for switches one, networks are S2 and R1. Okay, S2 place it on my local interface, facet net one. S2 place it on my local interface, facet net one. With the interface in the another side is also facet one. Okay, facet one on the another side. This interface. And the another knife for R1, place it on my local interface, facet net five. The another knife for R1, place it on my local interface, facet net five. But and the another side, the interface is gigabit 001. Gigabit 001 on the another side. The first device is a bridge, so it's a switch. And the second device is a router. Also, you can use uh, show CDP. Uh, show LLDP neighbors space detail. And you can see the detailed information for S2 and detailed information for R1. But to be as specific, okay, Use the appropriate LLDP command to give you a detailed information on S2. You can use show LLDP entry S2. Enter. Okay, Packet Tracer does not support this command, but you can see this on show LLDP networks detail. Enter. And this is the detail for S2. What is the chassis ID for switch S2? Okay, the detailed information on S2. And chassis ID is this base MAC address. 00C, 000C, I5 to A, 8A02. Console into all devices using the LLDP commands necessary for you to draw the physical network topology from only the show command output. Okay, for example, go to R1 and show LLDP networks. And Okay, the knife board is S1. Only one knife board for R1, S1. Go to S1, show LLDP knife boards 
to night horse s2 and r1 and go to s2 and show lldb night horse uh, you will have only one night horse that is s1 configure ntp you will configure r1 as the ntp server and s1 and s2 as ntp clients for r1 synchronized time is important for syslog and the bug functions if the time is not synchronized it is difficult to determine what network event caused the message display the current time Issue the show clock detail command to display the current time on R1. Go to R1, show clock detail, and detail, enter. Now you can see the time. It's uh, UDC time zone and uh, the date. And the time source is hardware calendar okay date time time zone and time source this is the date time time zone and time time source now set the time use the appropriate command to set the time on r1 Time entered should be in UDC. Okay, clock set the time. Fourteen forty-five zero zero. Fourteen hours forty-five minutes zero zero seconds. Twelve May twenty twenty. Enter. And verify show clock detail. Now you can see the new configuration. Configure the NTP master. Configure R1 as the NTP master with a stratum level of 4. Do this on global configuration mode, so you need to go with the configure terminal command. Like NTP master, NTP space master space four is the stratum. And configure NTP client, issue the appropriate command on S1 and S2 to see the configured time. Record the current time displayed in the following table. Okay, on S1, show clock detail under. Okay, is uh, 1993 on S2, show clock detail 1993. Okay, but on R1 is 2020. Okay, but I want to see the date, time, and time zone. For example, on S1, the date is uh, this. This is the time and time zone UDC. The same way on S2. Configure S1 and S2 as NTP clients. Use the appropriate NTP commands to obtain time from R1s Interface you go with zero zero one. Okay, and what is the IP address of gigabit zero zero one on R one? Is this ten twenty two zero one? Remember that ten twenty two zero one. And go to S one. Configure terminal and on global configuration mode. NTP server time twenty two zero one. Enter as well as to periodically update the calendar or hardware clock on the switch.
NTP update dash calendar and okay NTP options NTP space question mark okay and Pocket Racer does not support NTP update calendar commands on switches. Okay, go to S2, configure terminal NTP server is R1 102201 and NTP update calendar. Okay, Pocket Racer does not support this command on switches. Verify NTP configuration. Use the appropriate show command to verify that S1 and S2 are synchronized with R1. It could take a few minutes before the switches are synchronized with R1. Okay, for example, go to R1 and command to go privilege action mode, show NTP status, enter. Clock is synchronized, Stratum 5. Okay, the stratum uh, on the server is 4, and on the clients will be plus 1, so it's 5. The reference is R1 10 2201, the IP address of gigabit 001 on R1. 10.22.01 Also, you can use show NTP associations and, the, and you will see the association with the server Okay, go to S2 and show NTP status. Clock is, clock is on synchronized. Okay, Stratum 16, no reference clock. In this case, S2 is not synchronized. Okay, and wait a moment, show NTP status, and now clock is synchronized, Stratum 5 references 10.22.01, very good. Show NTP associations, enter, and this is the association with R1, 10.22.01. Issue the appropriate command on S1 and S2 to see the configured time and compare the time recorded Ailer. Okay, go to S1. So, clock detail, enter. Now it's 2020, but the time source is NTP. Now, uh, no hardware clock. S2. Show clock detail 2020 time source is NTP. Okay, go to R1 and also verify show NTP status. Okay, clock is synchronized, stratum is 4. If R1 is the server, the reference is myself, uh, loopback interface. And show NTP associations. Enter. Okay, the association is with the with myself, and the reference clock is a local clock.
okay and remember show ntp show clock detail now the time source is ntp within a network on which interfaces should you not use discovery protocols explain Discovery protocols should not be used on interfaces that are facing the external networks because these protocols provide insights about the internal network. This information allows attackers to gain valuable information about the internal network and can be used to exploit the network. Thank you very much.